CEO Adam Marin hints at destroying the short thesis. Let's take a look. AMC CEO Adam Marin just hinted at destroying the short thesis. The movie theater chain has been under attack by short sellers since before the lockdowns. However, short sellers saw an opportunity when the world's largest movie theater chain closed its doors in 2020 due to the lockdowns. Adam Marin says the company went from earning millions and millions per month to zero dollars overnight because they were not allowed to conduct business. When retail investors found out about the high short interest data in AMC, they piled together and created the massive short squeeze. At first, investors were able to drive AMC share price to $20, which is pretty high, a pretty decent return. But then later on, AMC was able to reach an all-time high of $72 per share. Since then, low borrow fees have made it easy for short sellers to bring the share price back down and sort of kick the can on the road. But until recently, short borrow fees are now skyrocket high. Retail investors have a clear runway to short squeeze sellers once again. One big reason theaters will never die. Avatar 1 made over $100 million from 2019 to 2022 in re-releases. Including a re-release in 2021, Avatar films don't just justify the box office on initial release, but also on re-releases. Also, other films like Star Wars and many others of the sort of thing and will. I actually didn't like the Star Wars prequels or sequels, but I would totally go see them again in theaters. So this is a good point. Movies do have sort of an evergreen nature to them. They don't even have to just release movies once. If they're big enough movies, they can re-release them and reprint money like crazy. This is just yet another catalyst that could drive more and more revenue to the box offices and, of course, to AMC. AMC and Ape. These two stocks have proven to the world that the U.S. stock market is rigged, and this is to put it lightly. From this point forward, these two are the only two that this Ape wants to hold. I will not invest in anything else until this Ponzi scheme is broken apart, that CC and FINRA and DTC need to do their job. The SEC promised they were going to look into things. The DOJ said they were going to do a crackdown on short selling. But until now, we haven't really heard much of anything. We are fighting for something better. Be it for our children, our future, our country, or humanity. But remember this. I will fight. I will believe. I will never give up. I want a better future for my children. I want a better future for humanity. We are not born into this earth to work, pay bills, and die. The only thing necessary for triumph of evil is for good men and women to do nothing. 